Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to resolve some issues you might be having with your display, specifically if some of your display settings are grayed out or if you're having any other type of screen resolution issues. This tutorial is geared for you guys. So we're going to go over a few different ways so hopefully we can resolve this issue on in one of the couple or three ways. I forget exactly how many different troubleshooting tutorial methods I'm going to go through in this video but hopefully at least one of them will work for you guys so we're just going to jump right into it so we're going to go underneath the start and we're going to type in display settings it should be listed underneath settings so or right above settings I should say so for some reason we're having issues adjusting our display screen size we can left click on advanced display settings and if for some reason we cannot change our display settings through here and it's grayed out we're going to head over to the display adapter properties so right under adapter type it'll say what type of adapter you have this is important later on if we're still not able to resolve our adapter issue if we have to actually manually go and find our driver for our display adapter. So mine says VMware but it's set because I'm set in a virtual machine but for most people it'll either be NVIDIA or AMD. So just keep that in mind um, when you're looking at under your adapter type. With that out of the way, left click on properties. Under device status, it might say this device is working properly. Just go underneath the driver tab at the top here. And then left click on update driver. And then it'll ask you how do you want to search for driver software. Either we can search automatically for updated driver software, which will go online and try and scan for updates. Or you could browse your computer for driver software, which will locate and install driver software manually. This is good if you do not have a tool online that will automatically scan and download driver software that's non-Microsoft related. So as I'll show later on, NVIDIA and AMD both offer automated tools that will scan and download drivers. So this is kind of an obsolete tool, but it's useful if for some reason you do not have internet access. So we're just going to, for simplicity's sake and hopefully the quickest solution, Let's just search automatically for updated driver software. So that would be the first selection on this list. And it'll say searching online for software. Just be patient and really should not take that long. You realistically should be able to get a result in 30 seconds to a minute at most. So you might get a pop-up saying, or a new dialog window saying that Windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date. At that point, you can close out of here. So I'm just going to close out all these windows here. So what we can do if we're still having display issues and it's still graying out some of our display setting options, we're going to head over to whichever display adapter manufacturer we have on our computer. So whether it be NVIDIA or AMD. So I'm going to start with NVIDIA. And I'm going to look up their drivers here. So there's actually a way that you can just type in manually if you want to search among different NVIDIA products. Or there's also another way which will automatically find drivers for my NVIDIA products right here. So you can actually left click on this little graphics drivers button. So it will actually will scan your system to see if there's any compatible NVIDIA products. Since I do not have any on my system I'm sure will not find anything. And then AMD also has a similar setting as well. So I'm going to type in AMD driver download. And your search can vary a little bit, but just generally. And then either you can click on the download AMD drivers and software main page. Or I also see a selection here that says AMD driver auto detect. That definitely sounds more appealing, so I'm going to go right to that. So this tool, if you left click on this little download button, will actually download and try and auto detect what kind of graphics card you're running on your computer. So like I said, try and use these automated tools and you don't have to go back through Windows. 
However, if you have to manually download the driver without a tool attached to it, you can go back through, download the driver, and then when you're prompted to manually search for the updated driver instead, you can just select whatever driver you downloaded. And worst case scenario, if you're still having issues, you can head over to the Start menu, left click on that, and then type in Device Manager. Should be listed above the control panel. So left click on that. And then go underneath display adapters right here. Should be like number five or six down on this list. Underneath display adapter, again, mine says VMware, but your guys will more than likely either say AMD or NVIDIA. So right click on it, and then you have some options. You can either update the driver software, um, which is what we did through the other window prompt. You could disable the adapter, or what I'd also recommend trying is uninstall the adapter if you continue to have issues, and then do a clean install. You can also scan for hardware changes. And then if you left click on the properties button, you can see additional information. And we can pretty much go through the same window that we had access to before. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. There's a few different ways to try stuff out. I would definitely recommend trying to run an automated scan number one through Windows. Um, if that does not work, go to the manufacturer's website and try and see if you can find an automated tool to download and install the driver for you. And as a final resort, if you have to try to download the driver manually online and then go through the prompts. So, like for example, if I go underneath the driver tab again, and then if I left click on update driver, this is what I was talking about earlier where you can browse your computer for driver software. This is in lieu of an automated tool and you actually have to locate the driver online, download it to your computer save it to some place like the desktop or something like that and then you can upload the driver through here so i hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and i will catch you in the next video goodbye